the motion passed on March 23rd, 2017, and uh, it passed by a, a vast majority, 201 members of parliament from all across party aisles voted for this motion. And now the committee will begin its work. Getting from the tabling of the motion to the passing of the motion was, uh, was quite a journey for myself, but also quite a journey for Canadians. Because what happened in Canada was something that I could not even have imagined in my, in my wildest dreams. When I tabled this motion, I was expecting a kumbaya moment where all of the house would come together and recognize this issue and that we would together stand and work towards continuing to build bridges amongst Canadians. What happened was unfortunately quite the opposite. We had, for the first time in Canada that I recall, uh, an attack on innocent Canadians in their place of worship. I don't think it's happened before in Canada where somebody has been murdered just for being at a place of worship um, and praying, praying to their God. What also happened was uh, I became the victim of, uh, of a lot of hatred from across the country where I received personal death threats for this motion, where I was accused of trying to bring in Sharia law into Canada. I was confused initially. I didn't understand why this was happening when, to me and in my mind, I felt that it was quite simple. You know, we, we have seen the statistics. We see that there is an issue. 70,000 Canadians have spoken up and said that we need to do something about this. Why is there so much pushback? And I realized that, oh my goodness, I am now faced with the exact same thing that I'm trying to combat and that is systemic racism and religious discrimination. So Canada, the most diverse country in the world who has welcomed you all, you sit in our parliament as a woman, and you, and you, no, I've sat here and listened, now Canada is racist all night, and I completely disagree. I think it's an insult. Let's talk about women in Pakistan. You want to talk about discrimination and the oppressed. Stop with all your lies here. It's such lies. Lies, lies. You've insulted me as a Canadian and as a, as a soldier's daughter who fought and other soldiers at Vimy Ridge, okay? We will not be quelled. This isn't about racism. This isn't about you. It's about you trying to silence Canadians and tell us what to think and what to feel. And you have no right. The anger was not directed as Islam. It was directed at somebody who would have the arrogance to try and silence other people. Do you understand? Do you understand what soldiers fought in this country for? My grandfather Do you? fought there. My father Don't you fought. Dare My father fought. My father fought. Here. It's democracy, the cornerstone is free speech. Yes. This has nothing to do with Islam. This has everything to do with free speech. You can't have democracy unless you have truth. And how do you arrive at truth if you don't have free speech, you fools? Thank you very much. The drama, drama. The drama is with women in Pakistan. Go look up Sharia law in Pakistan. 98% of the women are abused there. Don't spread your lies here. What about the women in silence? What about the Shafias? What about the Shafias? We'll be at there. We'll be at the river on the 30th. Will you be there for those girls that were killed because they became too westernized? Where was their free speech? Where was Aska Pervez's free speech? This is why we are here. You're liars. You're liars. And you are no champion of women's rights. Thank you are a sellout. Yes, you are a sellout. And we will not be quelled. We will not be quelled. I am for women's rights. For women's rights. Suffragettes. Strong and free.